Good morning and welcome to Praise and Prayer for this Wednesday morning. We'll be using the service in the Methodist Worship Book of Britain. And in order of morning prayer in the United Methodist hymnal, our prayer list is the one for September 6th for Newark United Methodist Church. You're invited to join in as, as we go through. Uh, your responses are in the bold yellow font. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Loving God, we have come to worship you. New every morning is your love, great God of light. And all day long you are working for good in the world. Stir up in us desire to serve you, to live peacefully with our neighbors, and to devote each day to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Our scripture reading this morning is from Romans chapter 13, verses 8 through 14. It is from the Message Translation. Don't run up debts, except for the huge debt of love you owe each other. When you love others, you complete what the law has been after all along. The law code. Don't sleep with another person's spouse. Don't take someone's life. Don't take what isn't yours. Don't always be wanting what you don't have. And any other don't you can think of finally adds up to this. Love other people as well as you do yourself. You can't go wrong when you love others. When you add up everything in the law code, the sum total is love. But make sure that you don't get so absorbed and exhausted and taking care of all your day-to-day -day obligations that you lose track of the time and doze off, oblivious to God. The night is about over, dawn is about to break. Be up and awake to what God is doing. God is putting the finishing touches on the salvation work he began when we first believed. We can't afford to waste a minute, must not squander these precious daylight hours in frivolity and indulgence, in sleeping around and in dissipation, in bickering and grabbing everything in sight. Get out of bed and get dressed. Don't loiter and linger, waiting until the very last minute. Dress yourselves in Christ and be up and about. And our psalm of praise today is Psalm 148. Hallelujah. Praise God from heaven. Praise him from the mountaintops. Praise him all you angels. Praise him all his warriors. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, you morning stars. Praise him, high heaven. Praise him, heavenly rain clouds. Praise, oh, let them praise the name of God. He spoke the word, and there they were. He set them in place from all eternity. He gave his orders, and that's it. Praise God from earth, you sea dragons, you fathomless ocean deeps. Fire and hail, snow and ice, hurricanes obeying his orders, mountains and all hills, apple orchards and cedar forests, wild beasts and herds of cattle, snakes and birds in flight, earth's kings and all races, leaders and important people, robust men and women in their prime, and yes, gray beards and little children. Let them praise the name of God. It's the only name worth praising. His radiance exceeds anything in earth and sky. He's built a monument, his very own people. Praise from all who love God, Israel's children, intimate friends of God. Hallelujah. Let us give thanks to God. For the love our Father, the maker of all, the giver of all good things, let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. For the world's beauty and the changing seasons, and for the life that we have been given, let us bless the Lord. 
Thanks be to Thanks God. Thanks be to God. For Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lived and worked among us, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to Thanks God. Thanks be to God. For his suffering and death on the cross and his resurrection to new life, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For his rule over all things and his presence in the world, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to Thanks God. Thanks be to God. For the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who teaches and guides us, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For the grace of the Spirit and the work of the church and the life of the world, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to, Thanks God. Be to God. Amen. Amen. So we've come to our time of personal thanksgiving. For what are you grateful to God this day? Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. We move now to our time, our prayers of intercession. Let us lift up our concerns to God. Eternal God, loving parent, we pray for the church throughout the world, for this church and all who call it home, that in faith and unity, we may be constantly renewed by your Holy Spirit for mission and service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. We pray for the peoples of the world, for the leaders of the nations, that they may seek justice, freedom, and peace for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. We pray for our country, for those who have authority and influence, that all may serve one another in wisdom, honesty, and compassion. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. We pray for those among whom we live and work, for all our neighbors, for those who have lost work, for families that have lost loved ones this week, for those who are finding it difficult to work from home, for those alone, for those affiliated with the University of Delaware, for those who are without a home or at risk of losing their home, for first responders, police officers, paramedics, EMTs, firefighters, and support personnel, for organizations and volunteers who are feeling, who are feeding those in need, for those impacted by the recent storms and tornadoes, for local businesses struggling in these difficult times, for those facing food insecurity, for those who are in prison and their friends and family, for those with or suffering from the after effects of COVID-19, for teachers, school staff, and administrators as they begin the school year, for individuals and families facing difficult decisions, for postal workers, and for those we either name aloud or silently now. That we may so use your gifts that together we might find joy in your creation, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. We pray for all in sorrow, need, anxiety, or sickness, and for the cares of this community. For those struggling with drug and alcohol addiction. For the young man with mental health issues, depressed and possibly suicidal, that he gets the help he needs. For all who serve and sacrifice for our country, and for those who love and wait at home. For a friend and colleague undergoing open heart surgery. 
for the one in need of peace and healing for many health concerns, for the one in need of healing from brain cancer, for the one in need of relief from the pain and for a successful abdominal surgery, for healthcare workers and so many service industry people balancing health and safety of themselves and their loved ones. For the young woman with life-threatening clotting issues, whose doctors are stumped and who's afraid of dying and leaving young kids without a mom. For the family whose loved one passed after being taken off life support. For the woman starting chemo for stomach cancer. For families who have lost loved ones to COVID-19 and are unable to be together to lend comfort and support. For the one who had a successful pacemaker replacement surgery, prayers of gratitude. For the people of Lebanon, for the people of Belarus, for the one who has just unexpectedly lost two family members and who has a third with a major health concern. Prayers of gratitude for support and help of church family. For healing of grieving heart, pain and bodily injury from a severe auto accident, tornado damage to home from recent storms. For comfort, safety and peace for the 93 year old in declining health who fell and broke her hip. For guidance and wisdom for the researchers working hard to find a vaccine and cure for COVID. For the chronically homeless. For the one who underwent open heart surgery successfully prayers of praise and thanksgiving and prayers for continued healing and strength through rehab. For the one in need of healing and strength as she undergoes weeks of radiation following surgery to remove a malignant basal cell. For the one who needs strength and stamina to persevere through long work hours. With thanksgiving for her successful melanoma surgery for a cousin and her family who has anemia, severe GI issues and pain, and whose doctors are doing testing on her liver. For healing for the young woman with sudden onset complete sight loss in her right eye with severe pain and guidance for her medical team. With thanksgiving for a successful pacemaker replacement surgery. For success for the one undergoing a procedure to drain fluid from the lungs. For success for the one going through a second round of an internship interview process. For the one, for the husband of the one who's passed in their family on the passing of their wife and mother. For the one who underwent a successful liver transplant with prayers of gratitude For the one in need of recovery and relief from considerable pain. For the family and friends of beloved church members who have recently joined the church triumphant. For the one fighting through numerous health issues, for strength and hope in the face of increasing worry and frailness. For the one in need of diagnosis and healing of vocal issues. And for any we might name aloud now or silently. God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your son. We pray you accept and answer our prayers, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father. Our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. from evil. For thine is the kingdom, kingdom the power, 
and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So our blessing today. Siblings in Christ, we are not dismayed. We are not just free to go. Christ sends us. Go and learn. Sharpen the talents God has given you. Go and play. Rejoice in the wonder of God's creation. Go in the power of the Spirit to love and serve the Lord. Go to help and heal in all you do. Christ sends us. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thanks be to God. Have a really wonderful day.